Tom at Simply Gridless, we're up here gathering elderberry blossoms. Okay, I wanted to kind of give you an idea what the trees actually look like. Can you see the leaves, how they're shaped? And you look at the blossoms, these ones aren't blossomed yet. These ones have actually blossomed and they're already fallen off and you can see the small berries. You don't want those, you want the ones that are only blossoms. Like here we go right here, see this one? Well, the yellow one, see that little yellow one? See how it's all blossoms? There's no real berries in it. That's the ones you got, be sure you wear long pants because this these things grow all around scary thistles and there's bees in fact this tree right here is where the bees were last year and I don't see them over there this year they may have moved but they were right there and they got us we were standing right up there trying to get some of these blossoms. See, there's some nice ones up there you can't reach, so those will be good ones to leave to get berries later. All right, we'll show you how to take them off and we'll make some wine. Well, we've taken the elderberry blossoms and our huckleberries. we filled jars with the blossoms. Now we're gonna start filling our last jar with some of the blossoms. For our elderberry blossom wine. We're almost too late in the season. They're already turning to the berries. Put just a little bit, and then what we'll do is you take some boiling water, take a little bit of um, lemon zest, put in there, put two teaspoons of lemon juice in each one, and then pour the boiling water in, and leave it in there for four days. And then once you got it in there for four days, you take it out and seal it. Put a cup of sugar in each one. Get a, maybe two cups of water. Warm it up so it's kind of warm. Don't make it too hot. Put a couple tablespoons of yeast and stir it in until the yeast starts bubbling. And then you put two tablespoons of the yeast liquid once it's already started and activated in each jar. And then you seal each jar. Top it off with water. Don't go just above the shoulder stay right there you want to have this little gap and then you leave the lids on and every two or three times a day just go in and crack the lid and let the air and then seal it back up and boy it will be good